What is up fellow nerds and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Today we are going to be covering the fifth Pokemon on our in-game team, uh, doing a competitive analysis of it, as well as showing you some sample movesets. Now uh, today we're going to be covering Mr. Rhyme himself, the uh, dapper new addition to the uh, Mr. Mime uh, evolution line. And he's interesting. He, uh, his stats are not insane, but base 80 HP and 100 special defense is pretty good. It's, it's pretty good bulk on the special side. The base 75 defense isn't all that great, and 70 speed is kind of slow. But, uh, you know, he's got, he's got an interesting role that he can fill. Now, the big thing that's going to be nice on him is going to be this ability right here, Screen Cleaner. And what this does is when he switches in, it gets rid of Aurora Veil and screens this is really really nice especially since right now the big a big part of the meta game is screens um, especially on things such as grim snarl like we talked about yesterday um, and or beetle as well is another really popular uh, screen setter uh, a few people are running Inteleon as screen setters but I don't really prefer to run to run him I think grim snarl is a much better uh, screen setter but Anyway, I, I think Mr. Rhyme has an interesting spot as far as shutting down that setup and really stopping a sweep before it starts. Um, and so I think that's the real uh, real pocket that he's going to be able to sit in. I don't think that Tangled Feet or Ice Body are going to be all that great. Um, you may be able to run Ice Body on a Hail team where, um, where you have Hail up and you're healing yourself. He does get access to Slack Off, so he could be a little, a little bulkier. But uh, I think most of the time he's going to be running a different role entirely. So we're going to look at uh, we're going to be looking at a few sets for him. So this first set is him as a trick room setter. Now him at base seventy speed, he's not the slowest thing in the world, but he also underspeeds a lot of things in uh, in the metagame right now. And to help him to underspeed even more, we are running room service on him. So room service is a new item introduced into this game. And what happens is, is when Trick Room goes up, he drops one stage of speed, making him even slower. Which then makes him even faster in Trick Room. Um, and so I think that it's really, it's really nice for him to have this kind of utility to be able to move faster um, in, in Trick Room anyway. Uh, and then we have uh, three attacks on there in Ice Beam and Psy Shock as Dual Stab, and Focus Blast for coverage against things such as Steel Types and Dark Types. Uh, which both threaten him pretty bad. Um, Ice Psychic is not the best defensive typing, of course, having those two weaknesses, as I mentioned, as well as Ghost. Um, and so it's you may want to run something like Shadow Ball here, but typically I think that it's better to have Focus Blast because you, uh, you end up having more threats for that. Um, yeah, so I think that this is a pretty decent set if you want to run him in a sweeping role. Now, alternatively, he doesn't necessarily have to be the Trick Room setter. He could just be the one that switches in on Trick Room. In which case, you could take Trick Room off for Shadow Ball and give you that extra coverage. But typically, if you have him on that can set up Trick Room, you're probably going to want him on your team. You're probably going to want him to have Trick Room. Uh, you never want to have just one setter because as soon as that dies then you're pretty much uh, out of luck. So the second set we're gonna look at is a another offensive set, but also covers also covers yourself a little better. Um, and this is an Assault Vest set. Now this set would also work just as well with Choice Specs, um, and it's just four attacks. You're taking away Trick Room from the last set and adding in Shadow Ball to help you against those Ghost types. Um, I think this is a pretty decent set for him. Um, again, the screen cleaner helps to get rid of any screens that they might have had. Um, and it's it's just really nice to have all that coverage. He really does get decent coverage. Um, and I think that that will really help him to actually find a place in the metagame. Now, this next set, I think, is really neat as well. And it is a sub calm mind set. So we've got substitute, calm mind, slack off, and psychic. Now, we could run a different coverage move. We could run ice beam instead. Or any other coverage move that you that you might need on that team, but basically uh, you set up substitutes, calm minds, and uh, you uh, stay healthier and healthier and healthier. Now we are running a full, uh, fully defensive set in the physical department, and then you are boosting your special defense with calm mind. 
And so I think that this set could be really, really good late game. If you could get him in and set up a couple of Calm Minds, it's going to be really hard to break through him. So I think this set has some viability. I think that it could be used uh, in specific situations if you set it up right and get rid of his, uh, his big threats and then set him up with uh, some Calm Minds and he will, uh, he'll, he'll put in some work. I think he'll do well. And so this last set is going to be him as a Rapid Spinner. Now he gets he gets access to rapid spin, which is awesome. Um, and these EVs are wrong, but anyway, I would run speed on this on this set. We will run 248 speed. Uh, and so the reason we're running speed on this is because rapid spin now boosts boosts your uh, your base speed by one, and so you're going to be going 1.5 times as fast as what you normally would. And with base 70 going plus one, that's not that bad. Um, you're going to be outspeeding quite a few things that you wouldn't have otherwise. Um, and so it's nice. Now we have the heavy duty boots as the item. This allows you to not take stealth rock damage on switch in. And especially if your role is to run rapid spin to get rid of those hazards, you don't want to be something that dies to hazards, especially since he is weak to rocks. So I think rapid spin with heavy duty boots is actually a really cool set. It'd be a really cool tech to bring. And then the rest of his set is obviously just offense to uh, to cover his bases. You could also run something like Taunt on this set to uh, to prevent something from coming in and just setting them right back up on your face. Um, so that's also an option. But I think I think this is your better set. Now he does get access to things like Fake Out, which would help him in uh, in doubles, and he also gets priority in Ice Shard. Um, typically this isn't going to be doing enough damage to where I think that it would be worth it. He also gets Sucker Punch. Also don't think that it would be worth it for him. Um, and he gets things like uh, Thunder Wave. And so I think I think this guy has a lot of, of really cool utility. And I think that he really can have a place on, on a lot of teams. I do think that he is very situational. But if you get him set up in the right way, I think that he can really be uh, a really big threat. So yeah, that is going to be our guide on Mr. Rhyme. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And tomorrow we will be bringing you the final member of our in-game team, Centiscorch. Um, and after that, I will be uh, just taking suggestions or I will be uh, just choosing, choosing whatever I feel like and uh, we'll make guides on that from there. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you guys uh, hit that like button and go down there and subscribe for more. We'll be putting out, uh, I'm going to be trying to put out one of these uh, every day. And yeah, I'll be putting out some theme teams. I'll be, uh, I will also be recording all of the uh, Galar Beginnings uh, battles. And so those will be going up on the channel as well. So you'll get to see some competitive battling. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great, a great, great time. So anyway, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.